In this video, I've simulated a hundred years into the future of Scottish football. Will Celtic and Rangers remain dominant? Will Celtic win 10 in a row? Will there be any upsets? Watch this video and we'll see what goes on in the next hundred years in Scottish football. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Cam and the Cam. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. As you can see by the title and the intro, we are simulating 100 years into the future of Scottish football. Uh, to do this, we are not just using the normal Football Manager database, we are using a uh, database made by Moza Plays. So it includes the 5th, 6th and 7th year of Scottish football as playable leagues. So teams like East Kilbride, Kelly Hart, uh, Bora Rangers, uh, Loch Ness, Camelon Juniors are all playable through this and we're using this to see where teams could end up in the next 100 years. I know right now we've got a black screen, that's because I'm behind, behind the first bit of information. But in the intro I did mention the dominance of Scottish football. But currently there's Celtic and Rangers and was anyone able to end that? Before we do get into that, 10 in a row. A big thing going on in Scottish football right now where Celtic this season could be aiming for 10 in a row but unfortunately they haven't really started off too well. So I've currently got up on the screen the 2020-21 table and of course you can see the of Rangers did manage to end 10 in a row. Of course, um, 10 in a row a big thing. I don't know why to be honest with you. Being a little league fan I don't really care. But of course um, Celtic won 90 uh, titles in a row before yeah, before Rangers and this won the league. And well I don't know how Celtic Rangers fans will feel about that. Of course you'll have the Rangers fans celebrating Celtic fans, a bit disappointed, got it fixed. But, but as we get into the, power, into the video, you'll see maybe there's not too much reason to be disappointed if you're a Celtic fan. As you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you can see the nine in a row titles before Rangers won. Of course, you'll be thinking, how did the rest of you know the hundred years go? Did Rangers dominate? Did Celtic dominate? Well, as I'm going to be scrolling up in a second, you can see just how how dominant the old firm sides were. See here Celtic Rangers and then after Rangers won the second title on the save, Celtic Celtic and then in 2044-45 Rangers finally ended 20 in a row. So Celtic at first didn't get 10 in a row but they eventually got it a few years later. I don't know what year to be honest with you, but they got it before going on. You can see in one of those years, Dundee, uh, Dund well, Dundee and Hibs finished second and just finishing third, but pretty dominant between the two old firm sides in terms of who will be finishing in the top two. And that is a theme that uh, reoccur um, throughout this save where Celtic Rangers predominantly the top two, with the occasional team slipping ahead of Rangers. That probably gives you away what's happening, but yeah, you know, they sw the title switch between hands again. And then after Rangers won three titles, or a fourth one, sorry, you can see again here Celtic on top. And they're still going, there we go, in 2084, Rangers won the league once again. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, how many is that? Well, it is 26 titles in a row Celtic have won. So, you can see in those two instances there, they have won 46 titles. Of course, they do have the extra few there. Uh, they've got the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, they won 57 out of the titles that are currently on offer. And I'm not sure how many, but then you can see here, as we scored up Rangers five in a row. And this is this is another instance where Celtic have won constantly. If Rangers struggling to really get handed, but you can see a lot here have their name. Are a team that do get involved quite a bit in the top top three in particular and occasional top two. As in the year twenty one hundred to twenty one hundred and one, a bear name finally in the dominance of the old firm in Scottish football when Herbernian somehow pick up the league title. That is the league that they won it by a point. 
um, which is massive for them. Ah, that extra win over Rangers and Celtic put to be right. And you can see there as well, a few teams you wouldn't think they get the Premier in there. Queen's Park. We'll get into them in a second. Hamilton are fifth. Dundee, fourth. Plays a few fans. And then here, Morton as well. But, was that a one and done thing for Hibs? No. You see, Rangers won the next year. Hibs won the next year. Rangers then won it back. And then Hibernian tried to go for all 10 in a row, but they only got to five. So, then, so you can see there, you know, well, the five, well, apart from the first year, five years, um, well, the next four years, sorry, Celtic were second, Rangers third. No, you haven't really seen a lot of Celtic outside the top two. Of course, there's a few seasons back here, back here again. But at the times, it is, you know, most likely the Bernie sitting ahead of them. And after they won the titles in 09, Rangers, Celtic, Rangers, Celtic. So, Hibs, they've done their best. But, unfortunately to them, it didn't look too good. I'm not too sure how many trophies are side of one. Rangers, um, Rangers won 21 of the available trophies, I believe. Uh, Hibernian. Do, 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 do. One, two. Hibernian won seven. So Celtic would have won 72, I believe. So Celtic won 72 of the available 100 uh, Premiership titles. Now, <coughs> he's to run, of course. This is only a game, ladies and gentlemen, so don't get too angry at me. But, you know, as it looks like. Well, you'd think the you know, foot manager predicting a dominant spell for Celtic in the future. But if we do have a look at that Celtic squad, who are the key, who are the players right now that they possess? You can see on the side here above me, and the manager is a guy called Tam Johnson. Tam has managed. Uh, well, Tam's played oh good. East Fife and then the Fife Elite for. I don't know what's happened there. He went to Falkirk, Kilmarnock, Cumbernauld Colts, 4-4, four, four, Alloa for Martin, Queen of the South, Cumbernauld Colts again, Cove Rangers, Edinburgh South, and then his first managerial spell was at Fort William, uh, Troon, Clyde, Hearts, Inverness, and then Celtic. So he's truly went and worked his way up. He got the self, he got this, the job um, in the last season there, and he managed to end Rangers three years in a row, which interesting to see. Now, the key player is Mr. Daniel Smith, who, 24 years old, valued at 32.5 million, maybe not the highest. I mean, I've seen some of the players go for some weird values. Yes, but he's played the Hearts, he's going 21 and 60, and then went to Celtic with 97 and 215, which is okay for a striker. And the hot prospect is someone called Ryan Cameron, left back. Was it Elgin? On loan. So. But let's look, have a look at the other side, so I'm not favouriting. Rangers. Now, no magic, Josh Gordon. Um, not really had a playing career, he's been at Dundee United for majority of his um, career. Before moving to Partick Air. Yeah. And he was part of that um, three years in a row with Rangers winning the title there. Before Celtic managed to win at the end. Now, like uh, Celtic, key player, um, Daniel Laurie, over 20 years old, valued at 23 million, so, you know, in the prices of today's market, it'd be a lot more. Now, in the future, you think it'd be even a lot more, but only 23 million. 23 million, you know, he spent, uh, he started off clearing there before moving East Fife, Mullowell, and then Rangers. And the hot, pro oh, goodness sake, I'm thinking of the price this day. Adrian. But I don't, I'm not going to try and pronounce that. But he's um, started his career at Ross County before moving to Rangers. I believe it may have been a loan spell actually. No. That gives away a wee bit as well. But yeah. Um, so. Yep. Aye. So you're probably thinking to yourself now. Who? So was there any, you know, early rises to the top? Now. 
and one of the teams we did mention there, Queen's Park. Of course, you can see they are in the, um, in the Premiership right now. Of course, in real life, they're in League Two. And actually, let me get down to League Two. We'll have a look at this in a minute. The teams in there, some weird teams you can see. But of course, this is the current League Two setup. Uh, not in exact order, of course, it was a short, so shorter season this season, but Queen's Park won the league before, um, well, going up. But in the year 2029-2030, I'd like it there, the Scottish Premiership, there we go, they rose to the top. I believe it'll be the year after they'll officially join on this. You can see they're not in here, and then the season after. Have I mixed this up? Oh no, sorry, they're there. I apologise. They're bottom of the tail. Only getting two wins, but they were the first team from League 2 to progress into the a, into the Prem. And, well, much later on, in the years 2088-89, let me see if I can get up here. So you're not, not the, the end of the League 2 sides in there yet, but Queen's Park. Cowden Beef joined them in there. Which, you know, when I was um, holding through, I found that quite interesting. Cowden Beef, of course. A side that's been up to the Championship in recent years before going down to League 2, and they've sat there for a few seasons, avoiding relegation as well. But it was one of the teams that I was quite surprised to see make it up there. And to round out, there was um, one team from below the SPFL that made it to the Premiership and then, you know, just 11 or 12 seasons after this in the 2101-2102 season of course, you've not seen them there Berwick Rangers became the first team from out with the SPFL to make it into the Premiership managing to stay up before going down the following season this is Another, well, quite interesting, I thought, the first when I saw it, because Berwick Rangers, of course, a former SPF, SPFL side in their own right, and they were relegated just um, a few seasons ago at the hands of Cove Rangers, who play in League One. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a look at the lower leagues in the next clip. Ladies and gentlemen, we are looking at the Scottish Lone League in the year 2055-2056. Now, we can see there... Berwick Rangers won the league that season, BSC Glasgow sits in second place, but you can see down in 16th place, Dumbarton are relegated, and they become the first SPFL club to drop below a tier, well, tier 5 and tier 6, which at the time was quite surprising. Of course, Dumbarton is currently in League 1 in real life, and you know, you'd have thought teams from League 2 potentially would drop in. Maybe before then, this is 36 years in, you know, Albion Rovers. You know, one of the first teams to drop alongside breaking, but they both managed to stay up for quite a while. But they weren't the only team to drop out. Just a few seasons later, Stranraer drop out as well. See, Albion Rovers sitting just above them in 13th. But Stranraer dropped into the. I think it was the West of Scotland they were dropped into. So, you know, it wasn't. Well, these weren't the only times the teams dropped in. They both went back up and both went back down again, I'm pretty sure. But there was one other team, a team I've already mentioned in this video, well, in this clip. And it is Albion Rovers in the year 93 94. They finally made the drop after so many years in the own league. And um, they were one of the first teams to drop, I'm pretty sure. If we can get on to the low, uh, League 2. Um, and I'll show you. Of course, we'll have a look through each league in a minute. Yeah, they were the first team to drop at the hands of. I can't remember. I'm not going to be fine this summer. We'll get there in a second. Apologies, ladies and gentlemen. They dropped to the hands of East Kilbride. That's who it is. They are. In the first leg, they drew 2-0. Um, Lumba and Brady. 
um, you know, scored for East Kilbride. Paul Allen, I believe that is, the next Warriors player, team of support. And a Finnecke point, I believe, scored as well. And in the second leg, Green that scored for, East, uh, for Albion Rovers, but Darren Smith, Craig Malcolm and Kyle Hutton relegated the away theirs. Now, I, th I do find some of this stuff quite interesting because of course it is a database and you're not really too sure how realistic it's going to be, obviously, because it's a game, video game at the end of the day, but see the 100 years in the future, um, you know, we're going, we'll go ahead and have a look through each in league, each individual league, who's currently there, and then we'll go and look at the Cup and also the international team. So we are in the Premiership in the year 2120, and you can see, well, this season's not started yet, this is the first, the first of July. Uh, I think it was a good point to do uh, this video. You can see in the top right the past winners we've already discussed. The last couple of years, Celtic Rangers won in and Hibs somewhere up in here as well. But uh, you can see in the league currently, you have Celtic, Dundee, Dundee United, Hamilton, Hibernian, Inverness, Caledonian Thistle, Livingston, Morton, Queen's Park, Rangers, St Johnston and St Mirren. Now, the majority of those teams, uh, you know, Scottish Show is used to seeing in the top flight, you know, Celtic Rangers, obviously. Uh, Dundee, Dundee United, key fixtures in there, even though both sides have been in the championship recent years. Allen, staying up somehow, Hibernian as well. Inverness and Lumsden, the Inverness. The Inverness and Lumsden, they're both sides that have been up there recent years. Went down, of course, Lumsden currently are in the Premiership. Uh, Morton, uh, I think Morton's the odd one out there, really. Apart from Queen's Park, obviously. Morton in the Championship, Queen's Park, League 2, and then the two Saints, St Johnson and St Mirren, both currently in the Premiership. So there's not really too many surprises there. Of course, you know, you take some big teams that are currently Premiership, Aberdeen. I was going to say Hearts, but not in the Prem. Um, yeah, Aberdeen aren't in there. I'm quite surprised to where they have been, though. As we go to go into the Championship, that's where it gets interesting. Here at United, Berwick Rangers, Clyde Bank, Dunfermline, Elkinsey, Hearts, Kilmarnock, Partick Thistle, Wraith and Ross County. Of course that is Wraith Rovers, I don't know why I've got Rovers in them. But yeah, a few teams from, uh, with the SPFL are in the Championship. Of course Berwick Rangers are side we've already discussed. Sitting just outside the Premiership, where their goalkeepers are best worth valued 230 k Probably why they're not stuck in the Premiership. And then um, the other team there, Clyde Bank, formed in 2003, of course. I'm pretty sure they went bust a few uh, back then. And then a new team's formed. Could be wrong. Yes, uh, Kyle Henderson, their key player, attacking midfielder, 250 key value. But um, teams you wouldn't expect to see there down to anyway. Elkin City, League 2 side in real life. You know, Ross County. Premier Society, but apart from that, well, Kilmarnock as well. Um, sides that are used to be in, in the um, Championship. Of course, Air, currently Championship, and Fairman as well. Hearts in that Championship uh, as well. Partick Thistle, League One, of Rafe Rovers in the Championship. Of course, and further news about Championship, you can see the recent winners just above me here. Queen's Park won it last season, they go back up to the Premiership. St Mirren, Hearts, Berwick, Camelon, Air, Dundee, and Berwick. See Berwick a bit, you know, a bit of an up and down team. You can see, you can see here they've um, won the pre uh, championship and then pretty much won it two seasons later. Or a few seasons later, they keep coming up and down. And League One, that's where it gets interesting. Whoops. <coughs> Auckland Lake Talbot, Bonnie Rig Rose, Clyde, Cowden Beef, East Fife, Kelty Hearts, Mullerwell, Pollock, Stennis Muir, and Troon. Now, this is where a lot more of the non SPF cell sides were up here. Of course, you can see above me once again in recent years Elgin, Ross County, Partick, Clydebank, Lumsden, Clyde, for Martin, Cowden, Beef, Clydebank, for Martin. <coughs> um, yeah, you know, Auckland Lake, the side that's kind of rose to a bit more prominence in recent years, of course, and they've been in the League 1 since um, winning League 2 in 08 
they haven't really got out. They finished second, but won, uh, lost the playoffs. And, you know, their key player is valued at 5k, so the prices aren't the best. But, a few other additions there. Bonnie Rick Rose, another side who are currently in the Lone League, I'm pretty sure. Elknecht or West of Scotland, but aren't playing this season. Um, yeah, Bonnie Rick Rose. Yeah, they've, you know, they've just got there after years in League 2. Avoiding avoiding relegation on two occasions in previous years after winning the playoff. Um, Clyde, League 1 currently, Ken Beef, League 2. The other side we have mentioned already going up to the Prem, East 5, League 1, Kelly Hearts. Now they're the big side a lot of people know out, about after missing out on promotion last season after playoffs were cancelled. So them um, and Brora Rangers, I believe, can go up due to the coronavirus pandemic. That's something we won't really get into in this. Uh, Mullowell Premiership side dropped down. They're not the furthest side. For, they're not the, the pre Premiership side for, uh, that's up the furthest though. You you pretty much know who it will be hopefully by now, as we've already alluded to them in it. Pollock, another side from out with the SPFL and the Lower League, sitting in League One. I believe they've gone up higher. I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure they were chap. Who's this? I don't know how to check this. Apologies. Yesterday, that's something for. But yeah, they went back. They went up. They were been League One, League Two for years. Ah, uh, they were Championship for a few seasons. That's what I remember them for. But they went back to the Lone League for two seasons before coming back up. Um, <coughs> the other side are Troon from the West of Scotland as well. Um, I don't think they've really went much higher than League Two or League One. Sorry. I mean, they have been, you know, bouncing between West of Scotland. They got up to the Lone League in 27 28 before going back down to the West of Scotland, even getting relegated to the conferences before eventually making it back into the Premiership, back down again, and back up to the Premier, and then in the Lone League, back into the Premier. Yeah, you know, they've been up and down, but, you know, they've stuck in the Lone League for quite a while, and eventually making it up into the SBFL. Um. Team I've already alluded to Dennis Muir, my team. Been quite interesting to see with them. I think I've uh, paid attention to the most. Of course, you know, you see my badge there. Well, badge in this area in here. Inspired by Dennis Muir. Yeah, badge, I quite like it. Of course, as I said, I do uh, support Dennis Muir. I do work for them as well, media officer. So, yeah, but the team that um, you can see here, they've been in the championship. They've been quite an interesting one to watch. Of course, Dennis Muir currently in the League 2. Um, and you can see here, well that's a long time ago now, League 2 up until 31 before being relegated to the Lone League and you know bounce between the Lone League and the High League I assume to make up numbers on a few occasions winning the league but failing to go up uh, through the playoff system before in the year 20, uh, 2076 won in the High League four seasons in a row after finishing the second three seasons in a row making up to League 2 and uh, we stuck around the bottom two tiers quite well before making up to the championship on an on and off basis and you know they find themselves back in the bottom two tiers in the SPFL once again um, you know right now currently we've only really ever won one trophy which was the Challenge Cup in 95-96 I believe so uh, on League 1 the Challenge Cup Again, oh wait, is that the only one we actually won? <laughs> if it is, um, bigger. I won League Two twice, High won the one League once. So that's the I won the playoff once, won High League eight times, Lone League twice, High League Cup, Lone League Cup, Aberdeen Shire Cup, the Shield, and the North of Scotland Cup. As we do look into League Two, um, Aberdeen. That's where they are found. Aberdeen have made a drop down to a League 2. Am I missing a side? Okay, we'll find them in a minute. But yeah, Aberdeen there, Airdrie, Aloha, Beef, Cove Rangers, Cumberland, Colts, East Kilbride, for Martin, Montrose and Stirling. 
now Aberdeen. Um, yeah, not looking too good for them. I haven't really. I don't really know when wrong with Aberdeen. You know, right now in real life, they are one of the top sides outside of the old firm. They <laughs> they made the first drop in twenty sixty. Um, or fifty nine. Sorry, when they bombed the league. Yeah, they were in the championship for years and then it got relegated and they just really struggled to um, get back up. Of course, when they were relegated, well, they, they did go back up, but they really struggled to cement the position in the Premiership and they found themselves in League 2 in the year 2020. Eh, 21-20, sorry. Of course, they won a few titles along the way as well. I mean, going down the leagues, it means you can win titles, Aberdeen. I mean, it might not be a bad idea. Of course, our teams you can see in the league beef. Beef. The um, new history. Yeah, pretty much similar to Troon. West of Scotland side. Um, Lone League for a bit. And they had a spell. They had a spell in League Two. Um, back at the start of the century. Put them back down and then finally getting up the divisions getting relegated uh, as well um, and then you know a lot more about you know Cove Rangers currently go on after one promotion two seasons ago by the hands of Berwick Rangers here in League 2 Cumberland Colts as well they've been they've been up at the championship I'm pretty sure um, I may be wrong on that one yeah they have been I mean one season I looked at it and I saw them in there it's quite interesting to see, of course, you know, East Cobride uh, for Martin as well, walking up there, Montrose and Stirling. Now, there's a side that I'm missing in here, I'm pretty sure. And we'll find them out, but let's have a look at the fifth tier. As we look at the fifth tier of Scottish football now, of course, the way um, Scottish football works in the fifth tier, you have the Highland League, and the Lone League, and the winners of each league play, go in a playoff match. The winner of that takes on the bottom side in the SPFL for promotion. So you can see here in League, no, well, the Highland League, sorry, um, you can look at the past winners: four for Broda, four for the end, four for Montrose, Montrose, and Cove. Four for finding himself back in, along with Arbroath, Bon Arbridge, Brecon, Broda, Bucky, Deverandale, Forest Mechanics, Fraserburgh, Hillfield, Swift, Huntley, Embry Locals, and the end: Peterhead, Rothes, Turriff United, and Wick Academy. Of course, the big side in there would be Arbroath. They are currently in the championship in real life. And, you know, they've been in the um, the Highland League for quite a while. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can see here. Um, going down in the year uh, 2074, and they haven't really got back up. But, um, well, I. You'd expect so. You'd expect them to get back up eventually, but remains to be seen. Of course, the um, manager Dick Campbell in real life, top quality manager at the level, and well, be long gone by now. <laughs> nice to be possible. Uh, you can see here our sides four for as well. Well, I sorry they have they won it, but they can go up through the playoffs, so they didn't think themselves back down. But I breaking as well. They're another side that's been here for uh, a good wee while. Um, Highland League, Highland League, Highland League. We're still going. They came down in the year 2040 and haven't went back up. Well, they went back up for a bit. But, I mean, they went down for a good wee while, went back up. And when they came back down, they haven't went back up since. As we now look at the Lone League, that's where the fun begins. Albion Rovers. Team I've already mentioned, Annan Athletic, Bonesh United, Kermnock, East Stonshire, Edinburgh City, Edinburgh University, Falkirk, Glasgow University, Harriet Watt University, Keith, Kilsyth Rangers, Then Lithgow Roves, Lovian Thistle, Queen of the South, Stirling Uni, and Stranraer. Now, you're probably thinking, why am I, um, you know, seeing Falkirk a bit more boldly? Of course, Falkirk 
uh, current League One side in real life, and but they are the rivals to my team, Stennis Weir. Um, yeah, so it was the end of the 2019 or 1920 season. The Falkirk finally made the drop into the Lone League after battling uh, in League Two for so many years. Alright, they went back up for a year, that's what I was saying. But you see here, Falkirk. They even had a spell in the Premiership for a bit, I'm pretty sure, at some point. So here, they, that year, yeah, they went up and went straight back down. <laughs> Unfortunate. But yeah, Falkirk, you know, probably the biggest side to drop into the um, fifth year Scottish football. Of course, you know, Falkirk, you say they are a big side. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, former, former Premiership side, and you know they were up uh, battling for promotion back to the Premiership until making the drop to League One, and this is their second season in real life in it. Our teams in there, rivals uh, East Stirlingshire in there, both share the same ground. I think they're still doing this. Um, facilities, yeah, they still play at Falkirk Stadium. So, yeah. Uh, but as we do look at uh, our teams in the league, we've got quite a few uh, university sites in there. You know, Edinburgh Uni, Glasgow Uni, Henry Watt Uni, it's still in Uni. So, yeah, let's have a look at the tiers below now. Of course, in the North Caledonian League. I'm not really got too much to say on these leagues, really, as, you know, well, particularly this league here, because nothing's happened to it. Literally, not, all the teams that dropped out of, like, all the SPFL side that dropped into tier 6. We're all in the Lone League. None of the uh, Island League teams have dropped from the SPFL. But you've got all Ness United who've been up and down. Uh, Benilf. I do apologise about bad pronunciation. Uh, Cutton, Gosby, Evergarden, Inverness Athletic, Kinnell, Loch Ness, who. Oh, they've not got the kits, that's unfortunate, but their kits in real life are fantastic. And uh, Nairn A, or Nairn County A, must be a second squad. Scurry, St Duffus, Sprassfey, and Furzo. Now, in the Lowlands side of Tier 6, West of Scotland, we have Bells Hill, Broxburn Athletic, BSC Glasgow, Darville, Dumbarton, who find himself back in here, Dunathan, Ben Cairn, Harrowford, Intermeadow, Harden Meadow, sorry, Kawanan Rangers, Largs Fistle, Les McGow, Newston, Peter Shell, Renfrew, Royal Albert, St. Colt's Col 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 Flex, St. Cadix, St. Anthony's, and St. Rock's. Stirling Uni won it like, last season, they've been up and down. So, BSC Glasgow, of course, um, like I already mentioned, was a place, made this database. He supports BSC Glasgow, so. And that's what I'm doing my with on Twitch. So, check it out. Link in the description. East of Scotland, East Stirlingshire. Living the day up there, they won it. Um, I mean, I've not really seen too many teams swapping here. Snart and Dumbarton were both uh, West of Scotland. I'll be nervous for some reason, I'm pretty sure East of Scotland when they dropped. But Craig Royce in and in there. Crossgates, Dalkey, Thistle, Dunbar, Edinburgh South, Galatherian Rovers, Harrington Athletic, Hallkirk United, Hill of Beef, Jeanfield Swiss, uh, Newborough, Orkney, Penny Cook, don't want to talk about them, Spartans, St Andrews United, Trenen, Pencastle on the Isle of Leaven. And in the south of Scotland, St Rard of the Earth, one of them not going up. I don't think they can go up anyway. Abbey Vale, Cree Town, Delbeaty Star, Easton Rovers, Kello Rovers, Loch Arfissel, Loch uh, Middle Annandale, Newton Stewart, St Cuthbert, St Rard of the Earth, Hreve Rovers, Upper Annandale, and Wigtown and Bladnock. Of course, there are leagues below, but I'm going to quickly skim through them. I'm not going to go through the names, but you can, if you, you can pause if you want to have a look who's in there. Dumbarton. Dumbarton dropped to tier 7. Oh well. <laughs> I didn't realise that. Apologies. But yeah, Glen Cairn won in that league there. Royal Albert. Hill of Beef won in that league. Craig Royston. And yes, we are now look at the Cups. I'm just going to have a look at the past winners on each of the Cups. Um, 
yeah, it's pretty much been dominant by the two Glad's region side once again. You can see a lot of Rangers and Celtic. Uh, but even though our team's winning as well, a bear name. Aberdeen, Dundee United, Motherwell. <laughs> Aye, St Mirren, Dundee. Yeah, it's mainly been the big sides in real life. Queen's Park eventually won it. Twice, Inverness as well. The, the big sides in real life have been the predominant winners of the trophy, the sides that are in the SPFL and top championship as well. If um, Queen's Park breaking the norm, with well, Morton as well. Same goes to the League Cup, I'm pretty sure. So if you ever want to put if you want to pause at any point you can. Partick Thistle we can see in there. Aberdeen. I've uh, one and one. Uh, one one on. Two of them. And um and the Trust Trophy, which is the Challenge Cup, formerly known as the Tunnets Camel Wafer Cup. What a name. The Berwick Rangers are current holders beating Clay Bank. I never thought I'd say that. And the last reserve side to win it would be Hibernian Reserves. The last Scottish side to win it, I am not too sure. Have they ditched that format? Linfield in 88-89 between East Fife. But you can see here, you know, a lot of different winners, of course, teams going up and down the pyramid um, system. Which I do quite like, to be fair, you know, the... Uh, the different winners each time. You're not really seeing dominance from, you know, unlike the other uh, two cups where Celtic and Rangers have dominated them. Which is good to see. Uh, because I love uh, every team's winning the cups. My team's the best Have they won it? So that one trophy would have been from when we actually won it years ago. But the North of Scotland Cup, um, my team says we are. And here for some reason. Won it a few times. We'll quickly go through it here. Yeah, that's the, the recent winners. Into the Highland League Cup. Which, you know, Devon and Dale couldn't hold of. Same thing. The team says we won it a few times as well. But, you know, I'm not sure why Stenny went up there anyway. I, I assume they balance out numbers. And Aberdeen Shire Cup. Same thing, different winners each time. Our both won in it quite a few times after uh, not getting back up. Four for current holders of it. The Shield Peter Head current holders of it. The uh, Soccer Soccer Shop Direct Challenge Cup. Um, Bonus United are current holders of it. Between Still and Uni. I mean, you'll see again once a lot of different winners. Good to see. The teams go up and down the pyramid. The Lonely Cup is currently held by Shrimbrar, who. Queen of the South, uh, you see a lot of different winners once again, and it's you know it's good to see, especially in the lower East I think you do get that anyway. But no teams are really dominating the cups. Glen Afton beating Neilston to win the West of Scotland League Cup. East of Scotland League Cup, Trinidad beating Pennycook. Thank goodness. Uh, the King Cup, Hill of Beef beating Musselburgh Athletic. You're not against Pennycook by the way. If you're a bit, a bit uh, against them, bad memories though. <laughs> Be a Stanley fan or not? The Alec Jack Cup, East Dunshire beating their leaving. I'll back up, Cree Town beating Abbeyvale. The South slash East Cup winner Shield, East Dunshire beating Cree Town. South of Scotland League Cup, Upper Annandale beating Free Rovers. The J. Haig Gordon Memori Memorial Cup, Cree Town beating Upper Annandale. The Perth Cup, uh, Potts Cup, sorry. Uh, Potts Cup, Cree Town beating Kill Rovers. The last one, the Cree Lodge Cup, Lock My Bend beating Middle Annadale. The Tweedy Cup, Upper Annadale beating Cree Town. The North Haldonian Cup, Loch Ness defeating Galsby. No final venue, apparently. Might need to speak to the creator of the database about that. Moza, if you're watching. I don't know if that should be like that, but all leagues are fine. The Football Times Cup, Loch Ness defeating Galsby. In both finals. Loch Ness defeating Clark the Cudden in the Jock Mackay Memorial Cup and reserves leaks now. Ladies and gentlemen, have a look at the national team. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at the national team. Of course, um, the current year is 2020. Scotland finally, after 22 years, qualify for a major tournament, which will take place in 2021. The Euros 
the Euros here, where David Marshall stayed a penalty. It's the first time in my life I've seen Scotland at a major event, or Paul C. Scotland at a major event, which is good to see. Now, in the actual game, much better for Scotland. As you can see here, we went up to the highs of second place in the world in the last few months. Then, by two years, sorry. But then, 20 May of this year, we dropped down and we are currently in 8th place in the world, which you can see now the key player, well, managed by Simon Robertson, who is, you know, has made a name for himself, managing, you know, for Mark and Ken Reeves and Johnson, Celtic, Inverness and then Scotland, you know, have a good playing career himself, playing for Wigan, Norwich, Sheffield United, Newcastle, Crystal Palace, all down south of the border. The captain is Maury Leiden, who's at Manchester City. He's also had spells with a fair name, Borussia Dortmund and Celtic. Oh, he's quite good, to be fair. Enough. 100... Fuck, wow. 129 caps and 99 goals. That is insane. International level, by the way. Maybe that's why Scotland did so well. Uh, the vice captain, Calum Dalgleish, in Liverpool. Wanted by... Inter Milan and Real Madrid bought from the Vernes. I mean, no, I, but I don't know if he was bought from the Vernes or not, loaned out to him for a year. But centre midfielder, um, 68 goal uh, caps with full goals, so not as uh, good as that, but centre midfielder, once again, looks good. And unfortunately, uh, the key player, oh well, Niall Bell. Um, another central midfielder playing for Atletico Madrid in Spain, where you know, he's had spells in Morton, Manchester United, Chelsea, and Atletico Madrid. Once again, looking a very good player for Scotland. Now, he began his career at uh, Clyde, apparently. That's Clyde to um, Atletico Madrid. But yeah, I'm probably thinking, has Scotland done anything? Scotland won the major tournament. Um, yes, yes, we have. Um, if they actually let me show you, you can see here we've won a few major tournaments. You know, we'll go to the World Cup. And we'll show you. Seeing better. So, Scotland are two-time uh, World Cup winners. Back to back in 2086 and 2090. They've also been runners up. Um, you can see against Portugal, against England, unfortunately. We did beat England as well, though. Italy, England again, Argentina, Spain. So, Scotland in the future looks like they're going to get much better, which. Good. Good to see. Because, you know, being a fan of uh, Scotland, sometimes hard. Or being Scottish is hard as well. The uh, European Championship is currently going on right now uh, in the game. See this the quarter final. Well, tell by England. You see the top right Scotland won it. Quarter final: Sweden versus Croatia, Spain versus Belgium, Italy versus France, and Holland or Poland versus Scotland or Austria. You know it's the teams you'd expect to see up there. But yeah, the past winners once again. You know England couldn't hold us, but Scotland won the year before, uh, four years before. Um, Scotland again back in 2056 after losing the uh, tournament before. But yeah, there's been. I think they've changed the way it works. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah, Scotland two time champions in that as well. And of course, um, everything else here you can see. Um, I don't know what's cut out behind that, behind my screen for you, but it's just two extra years they've won it. Uh, down here, which is 20, I believe it'll be 20, uh, 21 13 and 21 18. These are missing, so they're 32 time cha champions of the European Under 19s Championship, which is interesting to see. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that was 100 years into the future of Scottish football. And if he's interested, I'll be hopeful in the next week or two, we will be doing another video like this, where it'll be 250 years into the future of Scottish football. But if you are interested in me, if you want me to get out quicker, let me know in the, the comment below. So, always get the push. Do hit the like button, do subscribe, 
so you get that when it comes out of course uh, do follow me on Twitter and Twitch I stream most nights on Twitch um, well four times a week occasionally it's a nice if, if I'm up for it currently going to be a C Glasgow save using the database you've seen in this video um, follow, uh, follow Moza Plays on Twitch and Twitter as well of course Moza Plays is the creator of this database He's an overall top person as well, and you know he's helped me a lot with you know, stuff like this content creation, whether it be YouTube or Twitch, and it's always greatly appreciated. Of course, the links to download this file if you're interested will be in the description below. But if you are downloading this uh, file, make sure you do have the database made by Moza. Link to that in the description as well, alongside the load pack if you're interested, of course. Um, loan leak. The whole loan league, you know, that's not, that's not the logo they've actually got, and the, the teams don't actually have their own logos. Still laughing at this, but yeah, do do uh, give them a downloaded as well. Of course, um, I'll try my guess to get the 250 years out and then potentially go for 500 and a thousand, which would be more interesting to see where teams end up. But yeah, of course, as I said. Do follow me here on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, whatever else. Follow Moza, especially, top guy. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I'll see you.